Jason from Pop City Beats. Today we're going to show you how to use an SF2 and an SFZ file in uh, Fruity Loops, so FL Studios for Dummies. So let's get right into it. Um, and I'll show you what I used to do, and it caused a problem. So if you had an SF2, because I do have a lot of sound fonts, um, SF2 type files, and one thing that I used to do is I would you know, find a sound. Let me just move the window over here real quick. I would find a sound and just drag it directly over, like this fret guitar, for example, right? And it works, right? I can go into the piano roll. I can, um, uh, you know, import the sound. Um, it has a little note that says you've just imported a multi-sample sound bank. Unless you enable monolithic mode and direct waves options or save it as a new project, the sounds will be lost when you save this project. So what I had to do before was come over here, go to options, and then I keep having to move this window. Uh, there's monolith monolithic mode off, just change that to on, and it will work. Uh, it'll work just fine. The problem is it doesn't play SFZ, Sforzando type of files, and um, it would just stop and save. So I'd be in the middle of a workflow making a beat and then it would just like, okay, I have to wait 20 seconds while it saves the piano sound, which is a pain. So let me show you uh, a new way to do it. So let me bring this up real quick. So Sforzando, this is a free uh, plugin. It's an SFZ player and it plays those SF2 files as well. Um, if you scroll all the way down, should have a free download for free link. And I'll include the, this link in the description of this tutorial. And then pick your operating system and, and you're good to go. So you just download it, unzip it. If you're on Windows, you would unzip it and install it. And it automatically puts it into your VST plugins folder. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like real quick. Um, so I needed a good piano sound and this is what got me uh, figuring this stuff out. Um, I needed a good piano sound. Oh, by the way, I found a better piano sound after I did this, but uh, I, I do want to share this real quick. Spitfire Audio Soft Piano. If you're doing a ballad or warm warm type of song, this plugin is absolutely free. And, and it's, v, it's a VST plugin, so you don't have to worry about using Sforzando with it, but um, you, you could just free download and it's an amazing soft piano sound, which I'll show you in a second. But the one that I got first, um, I found Piano in 162 at IV Audio. I'll include a link to this as well. Great piano sound, especially if, if you need it to hit a little bit harder. Um, scroll down, there's BitTorrent links or a direct download. Same type of thing, you unzip it and it automatically goes, well, it may not automatically go into your folder. So let's go, let's go over that part real quick. So I used a BitTorrent client and, and downloaded it, and I'll show you where I put it. First I unzipped it, and let me open this up real quick, here we go. I, I don't know if you're a Windows user or not, but if you are, I would highly recommend using Quick Access. So pin some of these links, because some of the things, in order for it to show up in FL Studio, it has to be in the file system of FL Studio. So I'll show you what I mean. So if you, you know, you go to your main drive, in my case it's C, it's almost always C for most Windows machines. Program files, I have the 64-bit version of Fruity Loops. And go to, uh, it should be image line. Here we go, image line. Uh, FL Studio 20 is the version that I have. And there's your plugins folder and your data folder. I put a lot of my sound fonts and SFZ files in the data folder under patches. And um, see, here they are, sound fonts. And then I put them in here. So that was a long, complicated file system, right? Uh, what I did was I was sure to pin it to quick access so that the next time I need to load a sound font, well, actually I didn't, so maybe I need to do that real quick. So all you have to do to pin it to quick access is go back to the folder you want to pin, which in this case would be sound fonts, right click, and there should be an option, pin to quick access. 
Now what, what that just did is always, every time I open up File Explorer in the left panel over here, you'll be able to find your sound fonts folder a lot easier. So if you're, you know, you just downloaded something and you want to drag it over into sound fonts, you'll see it right here and you can just drag it right in there. Makes it a lot simpler. But that's what I did. And I'll show you where it is in FL Studio. Um, so like I said, I put it under packs. I don't know if there's a place you're supposed to put it, but that's just where I put it because this essentially is just a file system up here, right? So it doesn't really matter, but uh, it could. So here's sound fonts. Here's piano and 162 samples. That's the one from Ivy Piano that I just downloaded. There's ambient and there's close. But what I'm not seeing is the SFZ file. All I see are the samples that are located within there. So where is that SFZ file? That is a good question. So come down here, go to browser options. It's in the very top left corner. Click. And there should be something for you to check that says show, uh, not file extensions, unknown file types. Well, that's already in there. Oh, there it is. Make sure this is clicked. If you can't see it, make sure that show un unknown file types is clicked. Looks like I already had it clicked and I just didn't see that the, the two uh, SFC files were down here, right? Okay, now that's where your sound font is that you wanna play. If you go to, uh, I already loaded Swartzondo, but I'll show you how to do it. You just, uh, first I'm gonna get rid of this because we don't need this. Always stay organized when you're making beats. There we go. All right, you hit this plus button at the bottom. Go to more plugins. And it's loading up. Take a sip of coffee if your computer's slow like mine. All right, and you scroll down, and you're looking for Sforzando. Here it is, right here. And when you load a new one, it will be in orange the first time it picks it up. I'm using the 64-bit version, so I'm gonna choose that. So there we go, we have our Sforzando player. <coughs> now all we have to do is load it with an instrument. As you can see right here, it says that the in instrument is empty, or was empty until I clicked it. Uh, maybe I can get it back to empty. There we go. All right. So what you do is you just drag over. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the close piano. You just drag it over. It loads it in. And now you have your piano sound. And that's it. You know, if you have a MIDI keyboard, obviously you play that. I don't. I click the mouse. Um, but you can set a piano roll and, and start using it. Much easier. It doesn't have to... Uh, save the file every like 20 minutes interrupting your workflow or anything like that. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you liked it, click like. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you at the next video.